I got the highly controversial topic of heraldic displays. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, arriving in a camp, an SEA period camp. Tents all around you, the nylon ones in the back, the canvas ones <laughs> up front, banners waving. You see all sorts of sights. You see valiant lions waving in the breeze, proud swans <laughs> flying in the air, terrifying dragons inspiring fear in the others. Even the acorns have majesty <laughs> on these flying pieces of silk. We all need heraldic displays. We need more heraldic displays, better heraldic displays. Encourage it in others. It's a part of our history. We remember it. Be individual. Stand out by having an interesting display in front of your tent, hanging off your belt. Anything that makes you stand out, make you individual, not just some other guy in a long shirt and tight pants. <laughs> be individual, be unique, and be remembered. Throughout history, we remember people based on their heraldry. We don't call it the War of Distant Cousins, we call it the War of the Roses. <laughs> He's not Richard, the guy who's brave. He's Richard the Lionheart. The lions on his shield. They're nice, they're cool, and also some of us have really hard to spell names. <laughs> and so it's spelling Ichila Pachu. Because that was one. And isn't that just so much easier? Having all sorts of things in some leopard print, it's so much easier than all these hard to pronounce names. So, first thing you need to do for your own horologic display is make sure you have a device. Get a device. There are many people here to help you. I not I uh, volunteer Damien. Or, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. People can to help you. Pick a device. Get it registered. And once you have that, then it's time to start making your banner. Buy some silk. Spread it tight over a wooden frame. Then get yourself some paint. There's lots of people, wonderful, nice people who can help you uh, paint your silk banner. Come up with all sorts of creative ideas. Mix the colors. Pick the colors really well. Put them together and then voila, you have a beautiful silk banner of your very own. And then you can put it in front of your tent, you can make smaller ones, hanging off your belts. If you have children, you can stamp it on their heads so people can put them belong to. All sorts of wonderful ways um, to display your heraldry. Um, most, people, most people neglect displaying heraldry on your children, but it's very, uh, very useful. Temporary tattoo on the forehead does really well. He has plenty of space right there. Also, <laughs> Choose a device, make a banner, display it, be original, be unique, and be remembered.